Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just made a video about making dotted or dashed lines perfectly uh, perfect circles, and I did it with a blend tool. Well, if you get or have E cuts by Macro Monster, it's included in there. And if I'm not trying to sell you the product, I just tell you I have it and I love it. There is a deal inside there called replace. And we have, I made a dotted line. I did take it and break it apart. You know, I turned it in, uh, let me just do another one. Let me just get rid of this one and just show you how I did it. I'm just gonna take a, a square, let me zoom in here, and turn that square into Let's say two points. Go down here and get your dotted lines. Just pick any of them. You don't have to do anything. I'm gonna make them rounded corners just so you'll see because that's what the problem was with the last video. That's about as close to a circle as you can get. So here we have our shape that we want to replace it with. And all I'm gonna do, and I'm actually gonna make this a little thicker, make it like four points, get it about the size of your circle. And you can make that circle any shape you want. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click set master shape. Then I'm going to take all these shapes and replace and see what happened. It messed it up because I did not convert it. So what we need to do is take this object, convert it to a curve, select it, Select it again, which it was really already selected. Go to object, convert the outline to an object, and then go to object and break the curve apart. Now we have individual pieces. So now E-Cut can do its magic. So we're going to take our shape, just click on select, or so set master shape, click on this, replace with master shape. So what we need to do is select the whole thing. So let's do it again. Let's go set master shape and then select all of our shape and replace with master shape. And in that short of time, you reduced it. Now, let's see if we can't do it better. Um, let's draw a box again. a rectangle holding down the control button. Let's go ahead and make it our four points so we can see it. Well, let's make it eight points. And hopefully you'll see it better. Let's go ahead and go um, to our dotted lines. Doesn't really matter which one you pick. Rounded corners and then hit OK. Now what we need to do is select it again. Click on our pen tool and go right here to Fix dashes, so now we've got them on the corners. Then we need to do the same thing we did before. Go to object, convert it to a curve. Go to object, and it, this wouldn't help you. The, the blend tool would work just as well. Convert it to an object, takes just a second, because and then break the object apart. So now let's see if it doesn't put a dot in the corner. So let's select our shape. Set master shape, select all these and replace master shape. It put a, now it's still not perfectly in the corner, but it gets you the idea because the real reason I think somebody would want to do this would be, let's go with a capital E. And like we did the other day, left click, Left click, no fill, right click, red, and actually make that line a dotted line. Let's make it, let's make it our, make, you know, that's so big. Let's make it 10 points. Go and get a dotted line. Now put rounded corners. It doesn't really matter because then you've got to open that window back up to get it in the corners. So let's take this. Hit our pen tool again and select right there. 
So now we have even amounts. So let's take our dot now. Well, remember we have to break it apart, convert it to a curve, turn it to an outline, takes just a second, and break curve apart. That way they're individual parts. Let's make our dot a little bit bigger. Okay, now select it, set master shape. Replace master shape. That's pretty cool. So that's monster macros um, or macro monster e-cuts. Uh, if you really want to look at that, uh, just type in e-cuts or monster macro on my videos and I've got quite a few. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.